Hello, my name is Mitch Smith, Agricultural Extension Agent for Edgecombe and Pitt County. As the month of September approaches for peanut farmers, they begin to think about when is the best time to dig their peanut crop. Research has shown that digging one week early or versus digging one week late can result in a loss of about $500 per acre or 10% of the final yield of the crop. The purpose of this video is to determine the proper digging date for the use of a tool called the peanut profile board. When you approach the peanut profile board, also called the peanut maturity chart, it, you find that it contains an abundance of information. First of all, on the right-hand column of the chart, there are things that you will see as pod blasting occur, such as insect damage. And across the lower um, section of the chart, you'll find various disease symptoms that you can expect to find throughout the season. And this will help you in future years as you strive to produce peanuts on your farm. And then as we move into the interior of the chart itself, you'll find it's divided into, first of all, five colors, um, white, yellow, orange, brown, and black. These represent the physiological change that peanuts undergo through the maturing process. Located on the left column of the chart itself represents the progression of colors as seen on the chart that peanuts will endure as they go through the season, as they go through the maturing process. Uh, these are the colors you will find during pod blasting as we, we remove the outer seed coat called the exocarp. Um, and what we use, of course, will be the, the seed coat underneath called the mesocarp. And these are the colors that we will place on the chart itself. Next, you will find three basic arcs on the chart itself. Of course, there is the red art, which represents peanuts that are about three weeks away from achieving optimal maturity. The next, of course, is the yellow art, which represents about two weeks away from physiological maturity. And then the green arc itself represents peanuts that are ready to be dug right now. All of these are important as you try to make decisions regarding, to, regarding when to dig your peanuts. Um, at this time, I, I should also mention that as you go through the process itself, it takes about one week for peanuts to change colors. And that gives you some idea as to how much time you have in addition to the um, chart itself. Now this time I'm going to simulate um, how to place a sample on the chart itself. Now at the time of this taping, of course, um, I'm taping this in August and it's very difficult to find peanuts that are physiologically mature and that's a good thing. But I'm going to demonstrate the technique that I use to place peanuts on the chart in an effort to try to determine uh, when peanuts are mature. Um, a good sample is represented by about 150 pods or about two quarts. So I'm just going to run through this so you'll get a feel for um, how peanuts are placed on the chart. I always begin with an arc in mind, and I start with the darkest colors on the left, and I eventually um, move through the other colors on the chart. I've simulated these colors using spray paint, but of course, as you get into September, you'll have the real thing on your chart. So watch me as I place these pods on the chart themselves. I'm picking out the darker colors. The black means, of course, that these peanuts are ready to be, they're physiologically mature, followed by brown. Taking a random sample in a field based on soil type um, and not just planting date and other factors are very important as you move through um, the pod blasting process. You want to make sure you choose a sample that's representative of that field to give you a good idea of when it's time to dig peanuts themselves.
So, as you can see, it takes a few minutes to sort a sample on the peanut maturity chart. And uh, based upon what this sample is telling us, we're still about 10 days to 10 to 14 days away from physiological maturity. We wish you the best for the 2020 peanut harvest season. For more information, visit the NC State Peanut Portal at peanut.ces.ncsu.edu.